Hi everyone, welcome to English Digest. I'm Pat, and I'm Tom, and today is our travel unit, and we're going to Thailand in today's program. Great,、in、really? Can、Thailand. we actually go to Thailand? I certainly wish we could, but I guess、uh, we are kind of going there in a sense,、oh. in our minds,、oh. in our imaginations. But in any case, yes,、yeah, sorry, we just can't take you all to Thailand. It costs too much money. But, Never、uh, mind. It would be nice if we were recording this article live from Thailand. That would have been that would have been really fun.、We、It'd be great. We could have a side of pot thai or whatever, and、exactly. drink some Thai whiskey, and have ourselves a grand old time.、Mm -hmm. But we're just going to be、uh, talking about Thailand from. Taiwan, and today we're going to look at some marvelous traditional markets in Pattaya Thai, or Thailand. Okay, sounds good. Now I've I've been to Tha have you been to Thailand? Yes, but it was long ago. I think ago. the last time was there's like twenty years ago. Okay,、Ooh. I went about last time was about two years ago, and the markets there are really fun. I've seen the ones in Bangkok and a couple of other places, and they are full of interesting things. You could spend a day in them, no problem, just looking around, eating, shopping. And just taking it all in, really. So, in today's article, we're going to give you an idea of what it's like to be in a Thai market, and talk about the other things you can find and see and buy and eat there. Let's take a read through today's article. The air is hot and humid on your skin as you walk through a maze of vibrant colors, sounds, and smells. Thai locals call out from the stalls on either side of you. They're offering products such as sizzling and spicy meat dishes, ripe fruit bursting with color, racks of clothing, and even fresh flowers. You're in one of Thailand's bustling traditional markets, legendary among tourists and locals alike. Visitors from all over the world love these markets not only for their goods and produce, but also for how they seem to capture a slice of the country's lively culture. Most visitors in Thailand would rather shop at a traditional market than spend a Saturday in the stale air conditioning of a supermarket or shopping mall. They can browse through an endless number of diverse items laid out at shaded open-air stalls. Instead of buying a generic art piece for their home, they can watch a local Thai artist finish a unique painting right in front of them before purchasing it. Thai markets also boast amazing and unusual dishes, such as the popular tom yum shrimp soup, which combines spicy, salty, and sour flavors. Cool coconut ice cream is another favorite treat. And there are even edible insects offered for those with more adventurous tastes. Any of these dishes certainly seem to taste better coming directly from the hands of the person who made them, than from a supermarket's plastic packaging. Though going to a traditional market may seem favorable for these reasons alone, Thailand's markets have continued to exist for reasons of necessity as well. The markets provide a place where prices are negotiable. Something that benefits both visitors and vendors. So why not learn more by visiting one of these popular festive markets yourself one day? Hi guys, welcome back. So we're talking about the marvelous traditional markets in Thailand. We're going to look at the word "marvelous" first in our title. Something that is marvelous. It kind of means the same as amazing or spectacular. It's really good to see. You marvel at it. It is full of marvels, full of things to look at, full of things that take your breath away and make you go, "Ooh, wow!" And that's kind of what you'll find in a market, a traditional market in Thailand. They are marvelous. They're really great to be in. They're full of great things to see. As we will discuss as we start the article itself. Indeed. So the air is hot and humid on your skin as you walk through a maze of vibrant colors, sounds, and smells. So this、uh, sentence here that begins the article is basically describing what you would expect to see in a Thai market. So the air is hot and humid. Indeed, Thailand is further south than Taiwan, so it's、uh, pretty hot there, and it's also humid, which means there's a lot of moisture or water in the The air and it gets on your skin, so it might be a little bit uncomfortable if you're not used to this. 
and you're walking through a maze of vibrant colors. A maze, of course, is a place you kind of get lost in. You got to find your ways through it. And yeah, if you don't know your way around a market, you might get yourself lost. We've got lots of colors there. They're vibrant, which means they're lively and they stick out and they're very noticeable. We've got sounds there as well. People calling out for you to come and look at their stuff, and also some aromas and smells, probably from the food, but maybe from flowers and other stuff. Exactly. And one of the sounds, as Tom mentioned, is Thai locals who call out from stalls on either side of you. So the stalls is just these small, kind of wooden, sometimes mobile platforms where people stand to. Offer you to sell you clothes, to make you food, to sell you a drink, jewelry, all that sort of stuff, and they're offering a great deal of things. The next sentence kind of lists a number of things you could find at a at a Thai market. It says they're offering products such as sizzling and spicy meat dishes, ripe fruit bursting with color, racks of clothing, and even fresh flowers. So something that is. Sizzling. It is so hot, or it's being cooked in oil, and it's kind of making that really delicious kind of sound that、mm. of something sort of cooking up. So the meat is fresh, freshly cooked. It's、uh, just come off the、uh, the wok or just come off the grill. It's the smells coming off it. It's sizzling still. The oil on it or whatever it's been cooked with is still really hot. It's also a little spicy, so you can you know you just want to eat that right up. Yeah, spicy means it's using a lot of spices. That does not necessarily mean it is hot spicy,、mm-hmm. but、uh, a lot of Thai food is indeed very hot. They use chili peppers and stuff like that. So these are meat dishes that are spicy. They're sizzling on the grill. We've also got ripe fruit there,、uh, fruit that has not been cooked. Something is ripe when it is basically ready to eat. Okay. Yeah, it's got more. It's got the most sugar it's ever going to have. It's kind、okay. of、uh, the the sugars in it have developed, so it's. At its sweetest, when it's ripe, and of course the fruit in Thailand is wonderful.、Uh, there are lots of different kinds there. You've got durian and pineapple and other kinds of stuff. So of course that's、uh, quite colorful. Also, you can get some pretty good bargains on clothing. So we have racks of clothing. A rack is、uh, simply a bar、uh, where you place clothes on, so you can take and. Pick some stuff out, and can even see all these fresh flowers there. They sell flowers, and they use them. I think every house has like a little altar in front、mm-hmm. of it, or something—a Buddhist altar—and they always put flowers on it. So flowers are readily available in markets in Thailand. Okay, exactly, because you're in one of Thailand's bustling traditional markets, legendary among tourists and locals alike. So if it's legendary, a lot of people have heard of them. The locals love them. The locals talk about them. The foreigners. Want to visit them? The tourists want to go there, and they're bustling. If something is bustling, it's got a lot of bustle, which is noise and movement and kind of colour and lots of things going on. So a bustling market is going to be full of people moving things here and there, people coming and going. Conducting business, eating, drinking, laughing, talking, arguing over prices—that's what we can imagine from a bustling market. Right, bustling. That's an adjective here, or being used as an adjective.、Uh, the verb is bustle, and a lot of times you hear the term hustle and bustle. Like a lot of people like the hustle and bustle of the big city. Like people from, say, Nanto come up to Taipei, and they love the hustle and bustle of Taipei. And of course, people love the hustle and bustle or the bustling of these traditional markets. And、uh, tourists love them, and locals like them as well. Now, visitors from all over the world love these markets not only for their goods and produce, but also for how they seem to capture a slice of the country's lively culture. So, notice again in this sentence, we've got that、uh, old pattern here: not only, but also. So, people love the markets not only because of their goods and produce, but also because they seem to capture a sense of the country's lively culture. So yes, indeed, you can go there for their goods. Uh, the things you can buy, not just food, but clothing and maybe some ceramics or handicrafts or whatever. And、uh, produce, of course, refers to food that is、uh, being sold to eat. But also, these markets capture a sense of the lively culture of the place.、Uh, to capture means to kind of、uh, to get something, to take it into your possession. 
And basically, it's basically telling us that、uh, oh yes, this feels like I'm in real Thailand in this market. I feel like I've really come to an exotic country. Boy, do I feel happy. Yeah, the word capture can also kind of be used to mean to record accurately in words or pictures. So we talk about a a photo capturing a happy moment, or an article capturing you know the the news as it's happening, or something like that. And this captures a slice of the culture. A slice of is kind of like a slice of pizza. It's part of. It's a taste of. It's a sample of. And it's、uh, these markets capture. They record a slice of the country. Country's lively culture, so it's lively. It's Thai culture is very lively. It's got a lot of action, a lot of movement, a lot of people meeting each other, getting together.、Uh, Thai people love to get together to eat, so it's kind of this idea that is all thing, all sorts of things going on, and l- going to a Thai market will give you the perfect idea of the Thai people and the Thai culture. Yeah, I guess、uh, I'm imagining that you could say the same thing about Taiwan and its night markets. Yes, yes, the night markets here capture the lively culture of Taiwan as well. Certainly, a wonderful place to go. The Liuha Market in Gaoshong,、mm. or Shirlin, or Raocha Street, or Linjiang Markets here in Taipei. They are very lively. They capture the lively sense of the local culture of Taiwan. But、uh, we are talking about、uh, Thailand here, which is about a four-hour flight from Taiwan. It's not too expensive, and I believe it's still pretty inexpensive. To stay in Thailand, so maybe you should go talk to your travel agent as soon as we're done talking about this article. But、uh, right now, we're going to take a little bit of a break and listen to our Chinese teacher. Hello, everyone. My name is Tina. 我们今天要看的是泰国的传统市场。一刚开始，在第一个空格前面的后半句提到 a maze of vibrant colors, sounds, and smells. 看到一个迷宫呢，是充满着鲜明的色彩、声音以及味道。而第一个空格后面的主词开头是 they are， 这里是要用复数。They are offering. Products such as sizzling and spicy meat dishes, ripe fruit bursting with color, racks of clothing, and even fresh flowers. 看到这里贩卖的各式各样的东西，我们就可以选择第一题的答案是 Sentence C. Sentence C 在这里提到的是。Thai locals call out from the stalls on either side of you. 在这里的 store 指的就是摊位，各式各样的摊位贩售着各式各样的商品，有不一样的味道、颜色跟声音。所以第一题的标准答案就选择 C 选项。延续着这样子的文艺，第二个空格后面的句子提到的是 ，Visitors from all over the world love these markets。要注意哦，这里还是提的是复数的 markets。那么，来自世界各地的观光客都非常喜爱这些市场。延续文艺，第二题我们可以选择 E 选项。Sentence E 提到 ，You are in one of Thailand's bustling traditional markets, legendary among tourists and locals alike. 在这里提到呢，你身处于熙攘的泰国传统市集之一，不管是对游客或是当地人而言，这都是相当著名的。在这里，我们提到了 tourists， 就可以来连接后面的 visitors from all over the world。所以第二题的标准答案，我们就选择一、e、选项。We're going to take a little bit of a break right now, but please stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hi guys, let's get back to our article. The next paragraph begins. Most visitors in Thailand would rather shop at a traditional market than spend a Saturday in the stale air conditioning of a supermarket or shopping mall. So the pattern we use here is would rather. 
do A than do B. So you would prefer, as another way to say, you'd prefer to do A than B. In this case, they would rather shop at a traditional market, as we've just discussed, than spend Saturday in the stale, you know, air conditioning of a supermarket or shopping mall. Now, of course, air conditioning does keep you cool in the hot, humid country of Thailand, but the air is kind of stale. It's not fresh. It's been recycled, you know, and maybe it's.、Uh, It can dry you out a little bit. It can dry out your nose and throat. So, as for locals, they would actually prefer to go to this hot, sweaty market where it's lively and vibrant, than just kind of walk around in the air conditioning, in this stale air, recycled air, in an in a normal supermarket or mall. Well, I don't necessarily agree with that. I think that、uh, Thai people don't like hot weather just as much as people in Taiwan don't like hot weather. So I think a lot of Thais would rather spend their Saturdays and Sundays in the air conditioning of a supermarket, a shopping mall. But still, it's a point well taken. A market is a wonderful place to go with all the sights and smells and stuff like that. And、uh, you know, people there, visitors, can browse through an endless number of diverse items laid out. At shaded open air stalls. So if you browse, and oftentimes the word browse is used with the preposition through to browse through something, that just means you're kind of、uh, taking a look at something to check it out, to investigate it. You're casually looking at it. I'm just browsing. I'm just looking at stuff in your store here, and they can browse through all these diverse items.、Uh, diverse here, I should say, that's the American pronunciation. If you're in Canada or in the UK, I guess you guys say. Diverse, diverse,、right? yes. Okay, so these、uh, are a number of items, lots of different kinds of items that are laid out in these open air stalls. Open air stalls, just like you see in the Shirley Night Market. Okay, and here, instead of buying a generic art piece for their home, they, again, visitors can watch a local Thai artist finish a unique painting right in front of them. Before purchasing it, so here we've used at the in the start of the paragraph we use would rather A than B. Here we're using instead of A than B. Here we're using it with a gerund instead of buying, but you can、uh, use it with other types of verbs and nouns as well. So we also saw the word generic.、Uh, something that is generic is kind of a little bit predictable. There's no real imagination to it. A generic art piece would just be like, okay, it's it's flowers or it's a landscape. It's nice, but it's not kind of special. It's not really different. It's just kind of looks like a normal art piece that you would probably forget about five. Seconds after seeing it, but instead of buying one of those in a Thai market, you can watch an artist paint the painting right in front of you, and then buy it. And you know it's going to be more interesting and more unusual because it's done right there, and it's going to be of maybe of you or of the landscape or of whatever he's imagining at that moment, and that's far more interesting. Exactly, it's a work of art by an individual artist and not a generic art piece. Maybe a picture of a, a picture of a Thai dancer or a temple or something like that. Those are pretty common, and you want something really special and unique to put on the wall of your house when you come back. So when your visitors come over to visit, they go, "Oh." Where did you get that painting? It's so unique. It's so special. It's not like the boring painting I have back home of Wat Arun in Bangkok. But in any case, here, yes, you can watch the artist paint it right in front of your very eyes. Now, here in the next paragraph, it says Thai markets also boast amazing and unusual dishes, such as the popular Tom Yum shrimp soup, which combines spicy, salty, and sour flavors. Sounds like you get pretty much everything. There, except for sweet, but、uh, here we have the word boast. Usually, the word boast means you kind of brag. Oh, I'm so smart! I have so much money. I've been to so many countries. I know pretty much everything there is to know. That's boasting. But、uh, here, the word boast just means they kind of、uh, show it, and it's very special, and it's something that you're going to be interested in. Now, Tom mentioned that there was no sweet flavor in Tom Yum soup, but there is in our next、uh, food, which is cool coconut ice cream. Coconut, I have to admit this on air, is my favorite kind of ice cream. Really, it is. If I were to pick any ice cream, it would be coconut. That would be always my first choice. So no wonder it's another favorite treat.、Uh, a treat is something you kind of get yourself as a sort of a special thing, like buying some chocolate every now and again. 
10 or enjoying something really nice just because you want to feel good. You don't eat it every day or all the time. You treat yourself to it. And in, in addition to coconut ice cream, there are even edible insects. Offered for those with more adventurous tastes. If you have an adventurous taste, you'll kind of try anything. You'll go, all right, I'll try it. Even if I don't like it, at least try it once and see what I think. So yes, indeed, they do sell insects there. They probably do in certain markets in Taiwan here as well. I've eaten big.、Uh, What are they? Grasshopper crickets. Crickets, crickets. in in the、uh, the flower night market, the flower shop night market in Tainan. Tainan,、oh, yeah,、okay. and they, they were pretty good.、Then. Yeah,、oh, really? big crickets on a on a skewer. They cook them up. They put them in a bit of sauce. Yeah, they're good. I would try them. I would eat them. I wonder、again. if they make that sort of a cricket sound when they get when they cook when or, they, or、mm. when you chew on them, kind of make that kind of sound. They make a sound when you eat them. It's pretty much like that. Yeah, probably more of a crunchy sound. Yes, but in any case, here that I guess that、uh, demonstrates to us that、uh, Pat here has adventurous tastes in food. You're willing to try anything, insects or whatever, crickets or、uh, grasshoppers or whatever, maybe even beetles or ants or termites or whatever. Yeah, I'll、we'll、give it a go. Why not? Why not? Yeah, you're in the country only once. You might as well give it a chance. Why? Why waste the opportunity? Now, any of these dishes. Dishes, these kinds of foods, they certainly seem to taste better coming directly from the hands of the person who made them, and not from a supermarket's plastic packaging. I guess that's true. If you see it cooked right in front of your very eyes, and then you can eat it fresh off the grill, that's got to be a really wonderful experience. Okay, so that's the food part of Thailand's markets. There are other reasons to visit them too, as our article says. Though going to a traditional market may seem favourable for these reasons alone, so that's the diversity, the food, the kind of unique art pieces. If those aren't enough,、uh, the article says there's more. There are more reasons. It says Thailand's markets have continued to exist for reasons of necessity as well. So necessity means、uh, kind of they need it; they can't do without it. If it's something as a necessity, it's necessary. Necessity is a noun. Necessary is the adjective form. So if、uh, reasons of necessity means necessary reasons, you need this thing; it, you can't do without it, as we will explain. Yep,、uh, air is a necessity for life. If you don't have it, you're going to suffocate and die. So we better take care of the atmosphere. So yes, indeed,、uh, these aren't just for tourists.、Uh, locals go there to buy stuff out of necessity. The markets provide a place where prices are negotiable, which means they're flexible. You could ask them to lower the price, maybe. I don't think you're going to ask them to raise the price. But、uh, well, yeah, you know, two thousand baht is、uh, more than I have. How about one、uh, thousand baht? Ah, that's too low. How about fifteen hundred baht? So that's a kind of negotiating. We call that bartering or haggling. Yes, or haggling. So here the prices are negotiable. So yes, you could discuss the price with the、uh, owner of the stall and maybe get a bargain in the process. Yeah, and that benefits both visitors because they can get cheaper things and vendors because they can get more business. If they can lower the price, then people will come and shop there rather than just walk on and go to somewhere else. Which is why being negotiable. Negotiable is something that benefits both visitors and vendors. The article finishes with an invitation. So, why not learn more by visiting one of these popular festive markets yourself one day? The word festive kind of means like a festival, like there's something interesting going on. There is lights and colours and special meanings to things. It's kind of like a big holiday. Indeed, so that's、uh, where we're ending our article today, asking the question: Hey, maybe you should check this out and head to Thailand. Hey, it's February right now; it's cold here in Taiwan, at least here in the north, and it's going to be nice and warm and hot and humid in Thailand. So this is a good point here. Make your reservations now and head on over to the land of smiles, Thailand. There, there's lots of things to see and do there, and make sure you check out the markets there as well. Isn't there a really big market in Bangkok? Yeah, the, the Chattachuk or Chudachak or something. Pro, there's a floating market where it's all on boats, all which right, is pretty yeah, interesting. That one's kind of cool too. You can get、uh, stuff to eat there. So yes, indeed. What are you waiting for? Check it out. Make your reservations today. And that brings us to the end of our discussion. Here comes our Chinese teacher. 
。接着，在第二段的一刚开始的句子提到 ，most visitors in Thailand would rather shop at a traditional market than spend a Saturday in the stale air conditioning of a supermarket or shopping mall. 如果呢，你到泰国，你就会发现，大部分的观光客宁可在传统的市集里面购物，也不要去超商或者是购物中心，因为那里有的呢，只是没有新鲜空气的空调而已。而在这里呢，延续这样子的文艺，第三个空格，我们可以选择 F 选项。如果你不想待在超市或是 shopping mall， 你可以做什么事呢？在 sentence F 里面提到的是 ，they can browse through an endless number of diverse items laid out at shaded open air stores。不想去 shopping mall， 不想去室内的 supermarket， 你就可以去浏览呢，无尽的在这种空旷地方所摆出来的。无穷尽的各式商品，当然指的呢就是这些 traditional markets。所以第三题的标准答案就选择 F 选项。第三段的第一句提到 ，Thai markets also boast amazing and unusual dishes。在这里要提到的是，在泰国传统市场当中可能会看到的令人赞叹而且奇特的菜肴。延续这样的文艺，第四个空格，我们就可以选择 A 选项，介绍菜肴。在这里提到的是 ，Cool coconut ice cream is another favorite treat, and there are even edible insects. Offered for those with more adventurous tastes. 当然喽，这种冰凉的椰子冰淇淋是令人喜爱的甜点。甚至如果你大胆的话，还可以有可食用的昆虫。所以第四个空格，我们可以选择 A 选项，它就回应了。这一段一刚开始所提到的 amazing and unusual dishes。再来是第四段的第一个句子提到。Though going to a traditional market may seem favorable for these reasons alone, Thailand's markets have continued to exist for reasons of necessity as well. 当然，我们刚刚提到了很多跟传统市场有关为什么要存在的理由。事实上呢，它也有需要性、必要性。为什么呢？延续文艺。第五题，我们可以选择 D 选项。Sentence D 提到 ，The markets provide a place where prices are negotiable, something that benefits both visitors and vendors. 原来它的必要性指的就是在这样的市场当中，你可以去讨价还价。这一点呢，不管是对观光客或者是摊贩，都是一个。利益，所以呢，第五题的正确答案就选择 D 选项。以上就是今天的课文讲解，谢谢收听。Okay, so that is the end of our article today. It's made me think about visiting Thailand again in the near future. Maybe I'll pick that for my vacation this year. Hopefully, you guys will give it a, a shot as well if you can. Okay, it's a really fun place to go and visit. It's definitely worth it. But that's the end of our article today for English Digest. I'm Pat, and I'm Tom. Talk to you again soon. Bye bye. Bye.